Alright y'all, so if you saw, you saw, and you already know. So I went to the beauty supply store, this is one of my favorite beauty supply stores in Baltimore, but um, it's called Glow Up. And it was on the clearance rack, and I was like, ooh, I, this would match with my hair, but it, it wouldn't have worked out, so I just decided to do this. So I actually bought a whole hat for this, I bought a Yankees hat for this, but I didn't want to mess it up because this hat's expensive. So I got me a $4.97 hat from Walmart, that's what I did. Um... So basically, I had to flip the hat inside out so it would be easier for me to glue the tracks down. Now, you can use track glue if you want to, but me personally, I know how messy track glue can be. And glue guns uh, or glue sticks, they dry a lot quicker. And you can easily take it off if you don't like it or whatever. So that's why I used a hot glue gun. Um, this hair is only 14 inches. I paid about $20 for it for one bundle. I think this bundle is very thick. Now, let me tell you something. I've ordered a lot of hair from AliExpress, and I've gotten bundles thinner than this one for more money. So, I think I got a good deal on it, um, especially being on clearance, and it's colored. Because y'all know colored hair is more actually more expensive. But, um, only thing is, that color is giving me synthetic. But y'all know I can actually dye it since it's human hair. It's human hair, so I can actually dye it. I can make it pink, purple, or whatever I really wanted to. For real, for real, I should do that. I'm thinking about customizing the hat because I'm actually going to wear this, like, often because uh, sometimes I just don't feel like doing my hair and I just want to throw a hat on and just call it a day. But basically what I did in this process, I started off slow um, because I wanted to make sure everything looked right. I don't want to look crazy out in the streets, you know what I mean? Like, so um, what I would do, I would put the hat on your head first. And make sure it fits your head how you want it to fit. But leave a little bit, like a little bit of more space. On the back of my head, it has a strap, so you can loosen it and stuff. But once you glue the tracks down, it, it just affects the whole way how the cat fits. Because it's tracks up there, like it's it makes it tighter. So I basically applied the tracks. I applied the first one, and I cut it, and then the rest of them, I just did them back to back. Um, it ended up looking fine to me. Um, if you use hot glue, you know that it comes off. You can just rip it off the hair, and it won't damage anything. But I think it looks great. It's giving life. It's giving color. It's giving, I should probably flat iron it. It's, it's, I should, it's, it's a lot of things I should probably do with this. I'm not even going to lie to you. It, it, I should flat iron it. I just don't really like how it like it doesn't really ombre it looks like a I, I don't know but i did my um baby hairs on my my edge edge burns sideburns my bad sideburns and um i don't know i really think i should flat iron it and style it okay so as you can see i just finished the wig i took out my edges but it's not giving me what i thought it was so as you can see in the video what i did was I, I, I had to lay it very strategic, oh my God. strategically because of the color. And I wanted it all, you know, I didn't want brown to be up or down, but the, all the tracks are only go up this high. That's it. It might look a little bit bulkier because I do have braids underneath these. But yeah, I think it turned out really good. I'm feeling the color. It doesn't look too synthetic to me, um, but it just depends on your preference and what you think about hair. But I can't believe this is all one bundle because really, this is how I would wear it. Or I would put it in a ponytail, stuff like that. I really don't know, but it's cute. And I'm definitely about to walk out the house with this. <laughs> um, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at MyXBA.